What's up guys, my name is Dylan Shortness. I'm a licensed HVAC technician. I do installs and service, and I record myself doing it. Make sure you like and subscribe. What's up guys, it's Tuesday morning, 7.45. I'm at the gas station, gonna get a rock star. Uh, on the agenda today, we got a condenser to install, but it's not here at the shop yet, so. We've got some guys that scrap for us, some younger guys, and I need to pump down some units so they're able to scrap them down. So that's what I'm gonna do first, and uh, take you along the ride. Stay tuned. All right, it's been over. Okay, it's been converted over to MO99. Got a fresh tank with a vacuum pulled on it. Gotta get out a cord, I gotta get an extra hose. It says two circuits, so we gotta pump down both. We'll do circuit two, then we'll do circuit one. That way the younger guys can tear this bad boy down just like this. Okay, I got both my hoses on. I'm gonna open my suction, open my liquid. And I'm gonna open this. charging hose with this shot. Now we're gonna purge all the air out right here. It's good. It's set to recover. Now we're gonna open no nope, we're gonna purge this out first. Take two. Thought I opened that. Now we're gonna purge this out. All right, we're open, open, open. We purge all the air out all the way up to the tank. We're going through the liquid. Oh, I thought I was on the vapor. Look at that. The red is for vapor, gas, and this blue handles on liquid. Wow. Okay, well. This is an empty tank, so I'm just gonna let it ride for right now, but normally I put it on the vapor side. This is what it's putting in there without even turning the recovery machine on yet, so I like to see how far that can go before I turn it on. It's slowing down though, so. And now we wait. Okay, we got seven pounds, 11 ounces out of circuit one. Actually, it's circuit two. Uh, circuit one was disabled. Has no refrigerant in it. Probably leaked out that pin right there. Back all this up. Write down how much I put in this. Write down what's in there. All right, time to go install this condenser. We're doing it solo, dolo. Easy money though, easy money. I gotta stop saying that. That's Ryan from Victories saying i gotta get my own saying but it just is easy money it's too easy okay we're gonna swap out this condenser it's leaking at the coil condenser coil somewhere i believe it's a warranty swap out uh in a shitty neighborhood not a good place but it's okay we'll get her done what do we got going on over there I did not do that the easy way. I'm not even gonna lie, halfway through that I started panicking. I was like, what, why did I grab it like this? But we're good. This thing's empty. Empty. So I'm gonna close the valves now. 
Look how loose this bell is. I haven't been able to get inside yet, so I'm gonna check and see if we have 24 volts here. If not, I'm gonna rip it out, take the wiring off, but I don't wanna blow a fuse, so. Okay, this is what we're working with. Got my copper cleaned. The schraders are pulled, caps are off. We're gonna fit this, spin a little 90, and uh, swedge the other end. Put some nitrogen on it and braze it. I love these sweaters. They get really hot though. Got a 90, then I've been to 45. I'm not, I'm not redoing all this. This is just to chop off. So, I made my part look really nice. And it is what it is. We'll fit this one now. Okay, we're all fitted up. I got my rags, actual wet rags. We are purging, brazing with nitrogen through the liquid high side. I got my Schrader's out, I got my torch in a backpack. We're ready to go. We got that brazed up. We're leak checking it right now. Got 300 PSI of nitrogen. It turned out okay. That doesn't look bad. You can see where it's pulling in to the joint. This one's a little goobery, but that's okay. They look all right. Give it about 20 minutes, see if they're holding it. We'll put it on the pump. Hopefully I can put this away. Okay. Pressure test pass. I'm putting my Schraders back in because I don't have a Schrader core removal tool with me. So I'm just gonna pull back in with the Schraders in. 
it'll take longer but it'll still pull that's all right but anyways what i was gonna say is when you're tightening these you do not want to crank them down or you'll break it off and it'll be inside there and you'll be upset just make sure it's tight nice and snug you're good to go got my micro gauge farthest away from the pump this is definitely not the fastest pump process but i can't afford all the fancy stuff yet so this is what we're working with we'll get it below 500 hopefully to 300 and uh go from there i'm gonna eat my lunch for now <sighs> then we'll go from there i'm gonna eat my lunch for now in the ac in the truck fuck it's hot out today it's even hotter than yesterday i think it's like 93 i don't know what the feels like is I don't know, but it's hot, Illinois, it's humid. All right, let's eat something. All right, we're just about there. I'm gonna let it keep going and I'm back in the AC. All right, it's not really dropping. It's kind of floating around 480, so let's close it off. See what it does. Kind of isolate it from the pump. See how far we shoot up. Well, it's above 500, so we're turning it back on. And we're going to let it go for a little bit longer. I just took the control panel off and this is a brand new unit. It comes with a hard start? With a relay? Time relay? I mean, is it just me? Or, I mean, what's going on there? Somebody explain that to me. Are they better off with it? A brand new unit has a hard start on it already. Anyway, this is what we ended up rising to. I got the pump back on. So we're sucking it. Sucking it real nice. So I'm gonna do the wiring. And we'll see where we're at. All right, while we're waiting for it to pump down, I came down to look at our inside unit. We got a coil on backwards. Whatever. <laughs> Anyways, got a condensate pump. Going up to that. Uh, yeah. We're waiting for it to pump down. I mean, you're thinking, wow, Dylan, why don't you get a better pump? It'd save you a lot of time. Well, here's the thing, I get paid by the hour. And that's the pump that I've been supplied with. So why would I spend six, $700 of my own money so I can save someone else money? Not gonna do it. I do wanna get a better pump though. I wanna get the Navac battery powered for CFM. Man, I would love that. I would love that, it looks great. Uh, Anyways, let's go see what the pump's at. My fucking micron gauge is dead. I walk out here, I turn it on. It said 481. Now when I turn it on, it keeps shutting off. So I'm trying to try to get a little shot of what it's showing real quick before I call it and release the charge. Because I am about to call it. 491. I'm gonna close that off. And it's not skyrocketing. It's going down actually, that's good. So we'll wait a little bit. I'm gonna call it good. So I've opened this, my liquid line service valve first. Now I'm opening my suction. And we're gonna start it up. All right, my phone's starting to overheat. I don't even know if this is gonna record, but finish part of This is what our pressures are looking like. 410A. They're a little high, but it's also 85 degrees in the house, 95 degrees outside. I like how it looks. I'm gonna go take a temp split and then we'll be out of here. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. I'm home now, time to take a shower and relax. If you liked it, leave a like. Make sure you subscribe and check out my other videos. Peace.